While the show Ghost has quickly become a hit and a new episode is ready to reveal how the character Trevor dies. Asher Grodman star of the CBS hit comedy Ghost is here. And uh, first of all, we're going to hear how Trevor dies. But more importantly, we're going to hear where the heck are his pants, right? I mean, is that a possibility? It is indeed. The mystery will finally be revealed. Uh, and I think it's going to be a surprise. I can tell you, um, I'm on Twitter and I get a lot of the fan theories about uh, what happened to the pants. And I can tell you with certainty that every single one of them is wrong. Yeah, I just checked your Twitter and apparently um, someone in Sacramento didn't have yeah. any pants on for their interview. <laughs> I can't say I was yeah. able to do the same, but clever, very clever. It's all good. It's all good. I, I, I understand. Uh, but yeah, Cody's fantastic. We had fun. Yeah, well, Mar maybe you're trying to get it going as a Halloween costume. But for some reason, I don't know, parents don't want their kids dressing up as Trevor. I can't imagine why. Uh, right. Who knew? Who knew? But maybe I'll suggest it to my kids. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> let's, talk, children. let's talk about your character a little bit. So for people who haven't seen the show, Trevor is an 80s Wall Street bro, kind of. And he's shown some moments so that he does have a little bit of heart. So tell us a little bit more about Trevor. Hey, what's up, man? I'm Ari. Hey, yeah, Trevor's. Uh, so he, he's kind of a Lehman Brothers 90s. Uh, guy and from the finance world in New York and he's a was a big partier and um, is now uh, spending eternity the way he died which is in a suit with no pants um, I, I I think um, I've always seen Trevor as a bit of like a like a puppy you know he's he's always looking to have a good time in every moment uh, and he's looking to connect with everyone around him um, and so, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of fun uh, playing him. He's, yep. he's, there's a lot of joy in yeah, Trevor. I knew this guy it does look like a really fun show, show to be like, involved in. Such an ensemble song. cast. And oh, it has resonated kind of so us. well with they fans, viewers. Why really do you think it got it's so popular? Um, you know, I, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to say. Um, but I think a few things. One is this cast really gets along. And we love being together. And I, and I think, I hope that some of that is translating through the screen um our uh, our showrunners joe port and joe wiseman are just incredible writers uh and they can switch seamlessly between the funny and the poignant um and i think you know everyone can use a little bit of joy right now and a show that's fundamentally about like connecting people who would never normally be connected whether they're divided by you know life or death or just different eras um the show's all about kind of making connections and and uh and and the more you learn about someone the more you can relate to someone and so the show really breaks that down i think that's a good point there are ways where you can find the common the common ground between all the characters even though they're from completely different eras it really is a fun show to watch now i gotta ask you about your time here in san francisco you mentioned that you went to graduate school here in the bay area I did. I went to ACT. I uh, graduated. Um, what, why, <laughs> when did I graduate? Uh, yeah, like 2014. And I was there for three years. I had a blast. Um, I used to get, I, you know, we would be in, in <laughs> uh -oh. classes like 14 hours a day, six days a week. But I, um, I remember getting up really early and running those hills uh, as the sun was coming up. And I think getting to the top of, what is it, the, the hill after Knob. Hill where you can kind of see the the bay and the ocean in one in one spot. Uh, it, San Francisco is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's a really fun place to live. Do you ever make it back at all to visit? I would love to. Um, I ha I can't. I haven't been there in a little bit, but uh, I would love to go back. I had a great time there. And and it's funny, um, being part of that class it was a group of ten, and we were all very close to. It's the only experience that I had to kind of prepare me for. Uh, this group of 10 uh, and being, you know, one of that ensemble. It's very cool to be in an ensemble show because uh, there aren't many of these where it's this many of us. And uh, uh, there's a lot of possibilities um, because we're all so different. So well, it's that's going to set me up for that. It's working. People really, really do love the show. So you do have this career in acting, but um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you also teach. What? Yeah, so um, it started uh, when I graduated, I went down to L.A. and I was a substitute teacher in South Central L.A. And then um, I just I, auditioning was always hard for me. So I, I kind of made a, a point of helping anyone with any audition anywhere, anytime. Uh, and that turned into me kind of getting a shorthand on how to explain uh, this stuff to other people and kind of um, help 
uh, people have their own epiphanies and that turned into working at different schools. And right now I teach acting uh, in the theater department at Hunter College. Um, and before that, I was doing it at Rikers Island. Um, so yeah, it, it's a it's a fun thing for me and I'm doing it on the hiatus. I went back to teach. And, you know, acting is a very amorphous uh, thing. It's disorienting. The only person that you'll never see act is you. Um, so being able to take something that's very ephemeral and help uh, orient people and help it become more tangible for people is, is a lot of fun. I can't imagine what your students think. Do you, what, what do they say when they're like, hey, thanks for, thanks for coming back to class because, you know, you're this, this actor now on TV with a hit show. Yeah, I, I mean, my students are amazing. Uh, and I think they're enjoying it. Uh, and I'm hope, hoping that I'll, you know, they'll listen to some of the things I say a little more now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun. Cause it also, you know, I, I, it was 18 years for me in this business before I got this show. And it always felt like something like this was a million miles away. Uh, and that there was just never any room in this industry for me and, <laughs> and that I was overstaying my welcome. And so, um, I think you know, what I hope is that uh, by making this feel a little more accessible and tangible is that people can realize, my students can realize that this stuff is all possible. It's there. Um, it's a lot closer than they realize. That is very, very cool. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. You can catch Ghosts right here on KPIX. And again, we'll find and at least solve the mystery of what the heck happened to Trevor's pants. So can't wait. <laughs> thank you so much for having me.